He's got a chance to go a long ways because it, it is big league stuff for challenge. And the issue for McGarry is when he's misfiring, and that's happened too often. Well, he's firing away first pitch. We take a look at our batting order. We already talked about Rowdy Jordan and Tanner Allen, Cameron James, Luke Hancock, Logan Tanner, the catcher. On the ground of the second baseman, Max Cottier. He is up and throws over to his pitchers to do that, though. <laughs> You're probably limited to the guys in the offensive lineup. Nick Kent says my ball shallow left two down. How about it on nine pitches Griff McGarry gets Virginia to the batter's box. Good start for two five and white. We take a look at our batting order. Geloff caught here. Kyle Teal had a big grand slam in the postseason. Devin Ortiz actually started the regional clincher. Yeah he started on the bump and pitched great. One two hammered that one is skipping down and Geloff saw one over the heart of the plate and laced a single in the left. Looked like he had him set up for that curveball right there after the elevated fastball 2 instead. James and he does square and he gets it down. That's a good bunt. James will go to first and then all four infielders that are 351 in the tournament. That breaking ball was hanging. He hits it in the center field. Geloff will step on third. And a couple of singles in the first put the who's up one to nothing. Didn't waste any time did he there KP try to get a curveball for a strike. And Kyle beat him to the punch. Teal stole five bases and this one has popped up sky high on the infield. James right at the bag. Off of the hitters. Lost him. Look out. That's by the catcher. He had no chance to Tanner. And now to third base and to second base. Tap into left field. Back goes Cumbus. And on the track, he will be there to make the play. Didn't work there as he strikes him out. Hancock, the first K of the night for McGarry. He's got one of those, too. Fastball up to 95 so far, then he drops a slider on him, and McGarry's got the A staff so far, Eddie. Oh, four. First walk of the night. And first base runner. But down and stays there. That's two in a row. That one works. Two strikeouts in any for McGarry, and he has the A stuff tonight. In and out of the mitt of Logan Tanner. being recorded it's a walk and the leadoff man for the second inning is on base another successful sacrifice and down to second base goes Jake Geloff and here's Chris Newell for the first time and they're gonna do it again he goes into the gap in left center this one heads towards the wall where it's cut off by Cumbus and twice the sacrifice has paid off Newell first pitch swing two nothing Virginia Keep throwing first pitch strikes. This is what Virginia has been doing. That's a fair ball down the line. Scoring from second is Newell. And Geloff is two for two with a single and a double. It's three nothing Cavaliers. Really interesting this defensive positioning this inning with runner at second. Look how far he is from the bag. We illustrated earlier in the first inning. Really good. One, two, right back up the middle. And here comes Geloff around third. Jordan's throw cut off. Four nothing. Cody A delivers. And these have been rockets off the bat of Virginia's bats. On the ground and shifted and now making the play to Brule. Not in time. Sliding head first is Teal. And he cannot his head on the foot of Luke Hancock. And he says, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. One thing about Teal, that helmet will rarely stay on. It's either on the swing, it'll rattle there, then it'll come off later. But you will notice that every at bat, Teal's helmet comes off. It's just become his thing. I asked him if he's tried a smaller helmet. He said they don't fit. Bigger helmet doesn't fit. He said what it boils down to is my hair is still too silky and smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Look out. That one got him on the hand and the bases are going to be loaded with Cavaliers. 
him as the head coach. 0 oh, and 2. That one is held on to. And a strikeout there for Preston Johnson and a big one. Gets the call. Strike three. So he's there. Curveball's there. Look at that. 97. Strikeout number three. Punch out number four. Will not get it, but he'll get an easy one right back to him. And he hops to flip it to the first baseman. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> Preston Johnson. Three and two. This one to left field. And Cumbus towards the line will have room. And he'll make the play. And the leaders of this team. Two, two, and he fishes. He's a great fisherman, but not there. And he's thrown out. Page. Oh, that's out. oh wow, he was stepping like he got strikeout number five, but he didn't. Ooh. 96 and strikeout number five. It's consistent, man. I mean, hit hard. They were playing deep at second, and Cody will throw him out. 0-2 hit that hard and he is three for three and Zach Geloff on an 0-2 pitch delivered. Only in 2014 to watch Virginia and it's been a blast. You know, deja vu all over again KB. Hello and a tough read for Geloff at second and he will only get to third. That ball hung up. Scotty DeBrule, the second baseman, actually had the best chance at it. But another hit. Teal, like Geloff, three for three. On the ground, this is a double play. DeBrule, Forsyth, exactly what Lamonis needed. And he gets it. Much. On a line, and it's Max Cody, an easy play, one down. So a lot of soft contact, too, and it's for McGarry here in the fifth. This ball to left field towards the gap, tapping, going over, and he'll make the play. Oh, no, no! King King! Yes, punched out. Alex Tappen strike. 2005, and I know it was a quick trip, but not going to be long before you see him back. Tony Vitello is rebuilding a program in there. That's a great block, and he's going to throw down. Good throw, but it was a tough catch for DeBrule, and he's called out. Geloff immediately looks into his staff and says, check that. DeBrule seemed to stumble a little bit on his way to second. How about this arm, Eddie? That's pretty impressive right there. Watch how quick. On the block, he gets it right there and just... No, oh, they call him out, and he doesn't understand it. it. Maybe it was the jersey. Really glove on professional level. That's strike three, and the slider, like Jeff Nelson back in the day for the Mariners and Yankees. Filthy. Strikeout number six. He's on. Ooh. Inside. And... <laughs> Rowdy Jordan pleading his case that it hit him. I would be pleading too. I'm 0 2. I'm pleading it. Check it out, man. Yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. All right, let's go look. It's the right decision. Got him swinging at a slider in the dirt. They'll throw to first. Another strikeout. McGarry fired up there. Go 2 0. Oh. That ball is hit hard, and they had the shift on, and right through it, it goes. Runner goes, ball. first pitch, ball, throw down, not in time, and it's backed up. But a stolen base for Newell, his 13th of the year, three. He lets you know how that felt. It just was a whiff by Tanner. And to third base goes Newell. And a 3-2 oh, will out. not go. That's ball four. Cody eight will pop that up and it's caught easy play. They try to safety and that did not work. He's been so good with the bat and the bunting. Interesting there because his swing was a line shot up the middle and which was. Ooh, that's wow. a huge block. Saved a run. He can play the game. He can play the game. Ball team. Three one. 
And a little boot to the third baseman right at the line makes the play. And oh my goodness, he goes over into the camera well, holds on to the ball, and thankfully it looks like Cameron James is okay. Let's hope. Mm, 92 with some elevation on it. Strikeout number eight. Logan Tanner. And that one to center field, backing up and under it. Yep. The, to Virginia, that's ball four. ball four. Into the seventh and now into the eighth here. It's gonna be a tough play for Forsythe. Backhand and he goes to second in time to get Kent here in the eighth on a 3-2. Oh, that's down, ball four, good call. And that ball is drilled to right field, and it is deep, and Teal goes back, looks up, it's gone! A two-run home run, Kellum Clark, Mississippi State off the mat, the first hit allowed from Griff McGarry, and it's 4-2 now, Virginia. Fourth of the year for Kellum Clark, and he's arguably got the... Breaking ball on the ground in the hole. Smothered, long throw. Oh, it's no, it's by the first baseman, Geloff. And they will tag the runner, and he is going to be called safe. Let's see if Hatcher took a big turn there. And this one to left center. Going over there is Newell, and he is not going to get it. It's over his head. It goes to the wall. Hatcher will round. Jordan's right, but now we got a rundown, and there's no second base and he gets back safely Rowdy Jordan put his head down and he was determined to get to third base when he looked up Hatcher was standing there he did and that one is driven to right and it is deep and it is gone Tanner Allen a free run home run Mississippi State five runs in the inning and now lead it five to four What a comeback. Allen's 11th, the second pitch from Shock into the bullpen. Comeback complete for the Dogs. Circle guy. This is a circle guy. Two to Hancock. That one to center. It's going to get down in front of Newell. Oh, four. The first pitch. That's through. That's in the hole. That's going to bring in Hancock. He scores 6-4, Mississippi State. First pitch swinging, Scotty DeBrule in a big tack on run. Mississippi State giving Virginia a little bit of their own medicine. We saw this early on in the second inning. There's will be going. Swing and a miss, and that'll do it. Cumbus strikes out, but... Three and one, right field, dropping quickly, but a nice running catch, Tanner. Popped up left field and Skinner is going to have to keep going back. It's carrying. Oh, he jumped it. It is over the wall. That's a home run for Chris Newell. And the wind is blowing right to left and it got caught up in it. Newell's fourth and it's a one run game. He's in this game. He's coming in to get four outs. We'll find we're out about, right now. We're about to find out. All right, the top of the order has been terrific. Cotier. And this one to right, and Allen. That's quick. Look at Sims. Look at Allen. Look over at his buddy. That's a hitter from Mississippi State. He had a chance to be drafted, turned it down, said, I'm going to play for the Dogs. Look out. Wow, that was close to him, and he ended up popping it up. If the bat didn't get in the way of that, thankfully it did. It may have got him. Yeah, this is protect yourself right here. Protect the fingers, the face. Been there in that situation. Look out. He drilled him right in the shoulder back area. 
Okay. Will not chase, and they're loaded now as the runners move up. On the ground, fielded, and the force out is right there at third. Geloff makes it. On the ground in the hole, fielded, though, by James, who cut in front of the shortstop. Tease. 2-2. This one is shallow left field. Skinner is at the line, and he will get there and make the play. There Give it is. so, and that's it. What a weapon, Landon Sims. What a comeback for Hale State.